and well, what is it that Murray does? The end. Okay, so I'll hold up a couple of my products. Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another BoxyCharm, not really an unboxing, but a mini review of some of the products that I've been using from my BoxyCharm box already this month. Uh, I think I've, I've thought about it and thought about it and the, um, the unboxings are nice and they're exciting and I do like to watch them sometimes, but I really think that it's more helpful if I can use the products for a little while and then be able to tell you what I really think about the items that are in the box. If they were useful, if it's something that I'm actually going to use uh, a lot and, and get the money's worth out of it. Now BoxyCharm is already a really, really good deal um, in, if you can afford it because it is $21 a month now I believe and um, you know $20 a month is twenty dollars a month if you can't afford it you can't afford it and there's been months where I've thought maybe I should cancel this because you know I really don't know that I should be spending my money on this at this time but um, I did this month and the box came so we're gonna talk about it so the box is twenty one dollars a month and the value of the box is for me undisputed if you're gonna use those products and that's the key if you're going to use the products so uh, this month I've been very happy with all of the products um, there have been some really big hits and there have been some I'll use it but it's not my favorite and I don't know that I would repurchase it kind of products so uh, this month's theme is breaking the ice and all of the boxes come with this little informational card in them it tells you a little bit about the products that are in your box um, and also the retail price of the of the product um, so if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Christine and I do a little bit of beauty and I'm getting into more fashion still working on getting my full-length mirror after I broke my last one so we haven't been doing very much fashion on the channel lately it's been mostly beauty but I also chat and talk a lot um, I share some things about my family and the things that uh, we are going through and if you actually watch my videos I don't have that many subscribers yet my fingers are crossed my toes are crossed I really want this to work out um, because I really love doing this I love sitting down and chatting to you as if you were my friends and you were here with me and it's just something I really enjoy doing putting on makeup is my therapy so this is fun for me and so I hope in some way that it can help other people um, if you do watch my videos I have been um, MIA for a little while and that's because my younger daughter has been in the hospital and she is home now and she's doing so much better but we did have uh, quite a scare with her and found out that she also has an autoimmune disease and it is called Crohn's disease um, if you don't know what that is it mainly uh, focuses on your colon and intestines stomach even sometimes your esophagus throat area and as with all autoimmune diseases it means that your own antibodies are attacking your parts of your body it can also affect your joints and um, make you feel achy and kind of like you have the flu uh, it can give you fevers so we are better than she was definitely before we went to the hospital but it's going to be a long road ahead um, she is not the first person in our family to have an autoimmune disease I also have um, what will probably be diagnosed as a mixed connective tissue disorder and that's just a whole lot of words for saying I have symptoms of autoimmune dis diseases from a lot of different autoimmune diseases some of them fit with lupus some of them fit with um, rheumatoid arthritis um, my sister has a very rare autoimmune disease as well and uh, one of my brothers also has uh, rheumatoid arthritis so it is something that can be genetic and can be passed down and um, so you know I, I, I have been spending all of my time 
uh, with her at the hospital. She is also on the autism spectrum, so I wanted to make sure that she had a representative there. Not that she can't do it on her own. She's an adult and she can. Uh, I just wanted to be there for her, um, for her, you know, moral support and, and just to be uh, close to her because I'm so used to having her home with us all the time and I missed her and I just wanted to spend all my time with her. So that's where I was. I didn't get any videos filmed and that's just life. That's, that happens. It's, it's going to happen. So I hope that uh, the few of you that do actually watch my videos will hang in there and continue to watch and maybe even click that bell so that you can actually be notified when I upload a video because right now I am struggling to uh, bring you videos in a timely manner and also on a schedule because I also worked my full-time job uh, while my daughter was in the hospital so I would go from work straight to the hospital so um, we can talk about that more while I use some of these lovely products that I received from BoxyCharm. And uh, the first one that we're going to go to is the next thing I need to do in my makeup. I have already used all of my skincare. I used a one of my favorite uh, primers and that is by Physicians Formula and it is called Spotlight. And it gives this beautiful, wonderful glow to your skin. I love this primer. Physicians Formula is a little bit more expensive, but look at the packaging. I hope you can see that we have a lot of light in the room today but it is a beautiful and it's got uh, a lovely pump and it's lasted me a really long time and then I used their physicians formula the healthy foundation to go with that and it again is a beautiful lovely drugstore foundation very heavy glass bottle um, this one has a large doe foot applicator if you don't like that well um, I don't know what to tell you. Physicians for me is going to do what they want because it's their product. I kind of like the doe foot applicator. Uh, I'm the only one using my foundation, so I don't mind putting the doe foot back in the in the jar after I'm finished with it. Uh, the shade I'm using is LW2 in that foundation. I also put on my eyebrows. Um, so we are up to the point where I would normally use my under eye concealer and I received one. This is the first complexion product I've received in BoxyCharm. It is from Pretty Vulgar, and it is their undercover concealer. And we were sent shade matching cards. I'm sorry for the clicking. It's my doggy, Penny. Sit, stop pacing. Her daddy isn't home, so she's upset, and she paces a lot when he's not here. Um, so, I uh, will tell you some of the claims that came on the card from BoxyCharm. It says, Undercover Concealer is a lightweight gel serum concealer formulated to be hydrating, buildable, and provide medium coverage with a natural flawless finish. It has vitamin E. Um, it's supposed to keep your skin moisturized and rejuvenate and improve the appearance. So, um, the shade that I received is 60 Little White Lies and I believe I'm not sure if I actually picked the exact shade or if they're just going off of the card that I received in my boxy charm a while ago uh, where I told them which shade worked best for me and the retail value of this is $25 and I have been using this and honestly I like it is it something outrageously wonderful not really and to be honest um, the doe foot applicator is kind of it's kind of bent to describe that but um, I find I have to dip back into it for product it's kind of a thicker product and I maybe I would like it if it were in a lighter shade this shade is really good for my skin tone it would be good for covering up blemishes but I tend to like a lighter under eye so uh, maybe that's what's kind of not making me absolutely over the top in love with this concealer it works it definitely um, blends out really nicely it's very creamy um, but it is oh, it is a very very light coverage very light coverage you can try building it up I don't normally even bother doing that because I don't like a very heavy under eye I'm my birthday is coming up I'm just gonna say I'm in my 40s I don't want to talk about it any more than that and I, 
have dark circles. I don't sleep well. So I need something maybe a little more, with a little more coverage. I've got ones that I really, really enjoy. I don't like it better than my Catrice One Drop Coverage Concealer. I don't like it better than, oh, what's another one that I use a lot? Oh, I just got one, the one from Benefit, the Boing, such a funny word. The Boing Cakeless Concealer, I really like that one too. But again, both of those I got in a shade that is much lighter than this. So that may be, that may be why I don't love it as much. It does look really nice. It, it does look hydrated. Um, it, it doesn't make my under eyes look crepey or, or creasy. It does crease. I don't know if you'll see it. Uh, today we're going to be using my Becca um, Brightening Under Eye Powder. Uh, I love this stuff. Yes, it is a little more expensive than my e.l.f. one that I use. It is even more, dare I say, even more finely milled though than the e.l.f. one. And it just goes on like a dream. And if you like a brightened under eye, which I do, this is a very white powder. It is very brightening. I love it. So I'm trying to save it. I savor it. I use it. I use it off and on with my e.l.f. I go back and forth so that I don't use it all the time. But I do need to get another one because I really super like it. It sets my under eyes so beautifully. Everything looks smooth and soft and not at all crepey or wrinkly. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants crepey and wrinkly. So I use it very sparingly. I do not bake with it. I don't think it would be a good baking powder for under your eyes. I don't bake at all because um, I'm, my skin is so dry that I don't need to be baking under there. We would look terrible. Ginger ale. Cheers. Um, ooh, that was not my ginger ale. Don't worry. Okay. So, the next thing then that I would do after I get my under eyes all set and good would be to contour. <clears throat> um, I found a new contour palette. And the reason I found it is because I've been wanting to try this brand for quite some time. But... I've I don't know. I've got a lot of brands on my list that I want to try and things just get scooted around and sometimes I don't get to them. But this is a brand I've been wanting to try because it's very affordable. It is Focalore. Um, you've probably seen a lot of videos about their eye palettes and things. Uh, this happens to be their Sculpt Glow palette and I actually picked this out a long time ago because I love the packaging. The packaging is really me. I am really into the tropical vibes, the, <clears throat> the palm leaves and things like that. So the packaging on this one just really super drew me in. Look at that. It's got rose gold palm leaves on the front. Are you kidding me? And then when you open it, let's see if I can get it to focus on it. It also has a palm leaf. It's so hard to see. It also has a palm leaf embossed in the sculpting powder itself. I mean, come on. So it screamed at me, I had to buy it. And they were having a 40% off sale. Are you kidding me? I think the beginning price on this was $12 and some cents. So I got this for like $6 and 49 cents. And the uh, sculpting powder shade is a nice cool tone for me, which I really like. Um, if you know, if you watch my other, uh, my other videos, I also love e.l.f. This is so janky looking. But this comes from their contour palette. It's the only shade that I like in e.l.f.'s contour palette and use, so I just pop it out. They do have removable um, shades in there that I love e.l.f. Keep doing that, it's awesome. Um, so I really like this cool color on me from e.l.f. And I have yet to find another one that was cool enough for my taste. This one is a close runner up. So we're gonna contour with that. I start back in the back. Focus on that space where you've already got a shadow on your cheek. And if you bring your lips together and make the funny fishy face, you can see it even better. I try to 
stay upwards, don't go down too far. And I don't sculpt, I mean, I don't contour all that much. But I do like the look of it, especially in photos. It does help um, to show off those cheekbones. So this is a very forgiving powder. It blends out very nicely. It's not, I think you could be very heavy handed with it and still blend it out. You can always take your sponge with a little bit of translucent powder and fix it up if you go too far down or you've added too much powder. I like to do a little bit right around my hairline. Doesn't hurt. You've got a big forehead like me. I also like to do it under my chin. Nobody likes a double chin, least of all me. So put a little bit down there. It also has a beautiful highlight color in it. I'm sorry, that was my Morphe R9 contouring brush. <clears throat> um, I've also come to find out that the uh, dryness in my mouth and my throat and the reason that I sound like I am sick all the time is just another part of uh, the autoimmune disease. Um, so I'm not really sick. I don't. Today is a good day. Today is a good day. I feel pretty decent. Uh, and I'm not really sick. It just sounds like I am. So I apologize if I'm coughing and drinking and if that's distracting. I, I'm really sorry. Um, the next uh, product that I'm going to talk about from my BoxyCharm box is the Wander Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. It's very pretty packaging as well. Very simple. Um, it's kind of a blush pink peachy color and I received even before my BoxyCharm got here an email from BoxyCharm telling me that they had sent me the wrong shade of the blush and bronzer Wander Beauty palette and as you can see they're pretty deep for me and there is a lighter one now in that email they told me they were working very hard with their partner companies to send me something wonderful that I would love and then this week I get another email from BoxyCharm saying that instead of doing that they're going to give me a six dollar credit to use on their boxy pop-up I was sorely disappointed now let's read a few of the claims from the Wonder Beauty palette because I really do like it and you know what I'm gonna use it I'm just gonna use it very light-handed because it is technically a little deep for my skin tone. Maybe in the summertime it will work better. Um, this is a soft matte blush and bronzer cheek duo. They deliver naturally glowing complexion. It's buildable, um, long wearing. It's made with a hydrating blend of mango seed butter and sunflower seed oil to help soothe and brighten. Uh, and it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. This is, these are the claims that I'm seeing on here. And the retail value on this particular palette is $36. BoxyCharm, you can't give somebody a $6 credit on a $36 palette. That's not cool. I'm upset. I've seen several other people on Instagram also upset. Uh, I also find it difficult because your add-ons and boxy pop-ups always seem to come at a time when I don't have any extra funds to be buying things. Also, a lot of the things that I would want to buy are sold out within minutes of you opening. So, I don't want your $6 credit. I want the palette that I should have gotten in the first place and that's where I'm going to leave that. And we're going to move on and we're gonna try some of this bronzer because the longer I talk about it, the more upset I get. <laughs> so we're just gonna let that go and we're gonna use our Morphe R2. It's a nice, big, fluffy powder brush. We are going to tap off like crazy because this is a very dark bronzer for my skin tone, Foxy John. It is a very pretty powder. Uh, beyond the shade 
it warms up the skin nicely. Um, I like glowy and or matte bronzers. I like them all. They're all very pretty. So I'm not, I'm not upset with Wonder Beauty. I have a lot of things from Wonder Beauty that I really love. Um, this palette is beautiful. Their Mile High Club Mascara, beautiful. But I am, I'm upset with BoxyCharm. I'm not going to lie. It upset me. They don't send it to me for free. I pay my fees every month. Um, I don't, BoxyCharm isn't sponsoring me. And um, to be truthful, I, yeah, it upset me. I was upset. Um, I am owed a Wander Beauty Trip for Two palette in the shades I should have gotten. That shade was called Tulum. And then the pretty blush shade that's in here is called Daiquiri. And again, it's a little dark, very pretty pink though, for me. So I will tap it off very well. Apply that to the cheeks. Like I said, I am going to use it. It's kind of the principle of the thing now, because they knew that they had um, made a mistake and a good company would rectify that situation better than the better than the answer that they came up with. I believe that their their first reaction to it, saying they were gonna send out another product or another palette, was a better idea than giving me a credit to your boxy pop-up. That's just, maybe I don't shop at your boxy pop-ups. Maybe I can't afford to. Maybe all I can afford to do is get this. And I've been to the boxy pop-ups and $6 does not get you much. I can tell you that. All right, so already through uh, two of our products from the BoxyCharm box, three, I'm sorry, three of our products, and I'm at the stage now where I would start to do my eye makeup, and today we do have a product from Ace Beauty, I want to say it's Beauté, at least that's how I would, that's how I would, I've seen people say it so many different ways, but this is their Vintage Dawn palette. The outer packaging is really, really pretty. I like the size of the palette. It's weighty. It has a very nice mirror inside and the color choices on the inside are really right up my alley. So this, I was not disappointed in whatsoever. This is my first uh, product from this particular brand and I've been using it for about a week now and I really, really love it. Uh, some of it I've wanted to dip into other palettes for a crease shade or you know uh, an inner corner highlight maybe so as a complete palette it doesn't all together work for me I have done it and I've made it work but maybe that's a good thing it's pushing me out of my comfort zone it's making me uh, work harder to come up with looks in a situation where I'm not at all not all that comfortable so that might be you know maybe that's a good thing so we're gonna go ahead and get started today. I'm in love with the matte olive green that they have in here. It's called Cactus. I'm sorry, you're looking at it upside down. But it's called Cactus and it is so pretty. I love it. But I'm a sucker for those green colors. If you've been watching for a little while, you'll know that I'm loving it. So let's see. What, what are the claims on this palette before we get started? This eyeshadow palette features 12 colors that are rem reminiscent of the beautiful sunrises and sunsets witnessed in various locations around the world. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide the easiest application and the most excellent color payoff. I agree with all of those claims. The color payoff is there. They blend beautifully. The color story is absolutely out of this world gorgeous. I agree with all of those things. And um, the retail value on this palette is $34.99. And it is, uh, they do have it on their site. I've gone on, they have a few other ones in the same, um, what do I wanna say, packaging, and it, but with different color stories and they are beautiful as well. So let's get started on this. I'm going to start though with the yellow shade in the palette called Daybreak. We're gonna start it. I, I also noticed in using it this week I have I had barely any fallout at all and no mess inside the palette at all for such deep beautiful colors I thought that was pretty cool so we're gonna start with that nice bright yellow and go right into the crease um, 
as per usual, I did use an eye primer. It is the LA Girl Pro Primer. I love stick primers for my eyes. They're just less messy for me and so easy to, to apply. I did not set it with anything, so we're gonna see how this goes. I have done it both ways, and I really didn't have any problems either way. As I said, I'm not sure. I think I would have liked a more maybe, this is so silly, but I would have liked a more toned down, maybe a tan color um, to use as a crease color, but we're gonna use the yellow today because it's bright and beautiful and hopefully be able to blend that beautiful olive green in here somewhere too. Because I've been dying to use it as well. Uh, I believe I took pictures and put on Instagram of the other looks that I did using this palette over the last week. If you haven't been to my Instagram, please go over there, check it out. I'm up to about, I think, 600 followers right now, which is great. Uh, obviously, I would like to grow that number. So go on over there. It's Christine with a K underscore Elaine, just like this YouTube channel, 72. So check it out. I did post things over there while my daughter was in the hospital so you can get a few pictures of my daughter we played a lot of cards we watched a lot of television in general just tried to keep her busy because not only was she in there because of the 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 pain associated with her condition um, they also had her on a completely liquid diet and if you've never gone from just a normal, all-the-time diet to a liquid diet, you have no idea how difficult it is. I, I have done it. I've had to do it um, before as well. I've also had the exact same ailments as my daughter has had. And mine developed into a, what they called a precancerous condition in my throat area and had to be treated for that but I have not been you know formally diagnosed with um, Crohn's disease so I have kind of gone through the same kind of things as my poor kid has gone through and I would not wish it on anyone I wished I could have taken it from her the whole time she was there um, she, she was very brave she did very well. I'm so proud of her. She is an excellent patient. She's a patient, kind, loving, remarkable young lady. And, you know, the, all of the nurses and the staff there were so good to her and they were so nice because she is such a wonderful little patient who, you know, never wants to put anyone out, doesn't want to ask for anything. She's a sweetheart. We were able to, with permission of course, take her dog to see her. And it was a really, really great experience. We'd never done that with her before. But if you've watched my other videos, you've seen her doggy on here. <clears throat> her name is Ruby. She's a tiny little Yorkie Poo. And they have a love that I can't even it's impossible to explain. I'm sorry, I was using a Morphe R37. It's a nice fluffy blending brush. I'm switching to something a little smaller. This is an M456 blending brush and I'm gonna to switch to that olive green uh, cactus color. I'm gonna dip into that and tap it off a bit. We're gonna go into the crease and deepen up that crease a little bit more. We asked at the hospital if it would be all right if we brought little Ruby to see her mom because Ruby was not doing well at home. Ruby has been with Rachel since Rachel was in I want to say second grade so they have grown up together very much attached to each other. She is Rachel's she loves her and they and, and Ruby loves Rachel and even though 
we would come home and try to spend as much time in the evening with Ruby as we possibly could and she you know stayed in my room while Rachel was gone it wasn't the same uh, I think Ruby was very stressed and feeling down and, I mean you can just tell if you if you have pets that is blending really beautifully for such a dark green it's very pretty I'll probably have to go up and add more of the yellow above but that's fine um, Ruby has been diagnosed with Lyme's disease of all things so if you know anything about Lyme's disease it is something that can lay dormant in the body and you can have relapses of it at any time and the worst thing for diseases like that is to be under stress it can cause the disease to come back in full force and it started to do that with poor Ruby about two days into Rachel's hospital stay I take that lighter fluffy brush I didn't add anything to it and I'm just gonna make sure that I like the way those edges are looking you don't want to get too harsh of lines blend out that green a little bit more anyway go in and add some more yellow just to pump it up a little bit but I want it to look intentional not like a bruise not like somebody sucked me in the eye so I am very very light-handedly adding a little bit more of that yellow back in we don't want to blend it all away we just want to add a little bit more of that color so um, she started some of her some of her symptoms with the Lyme's disease is that she gets very sore joints especially it seems like in one I don't know if it's the elbow I guess it's the elbow on a dog um, and she'll start holding one of her legs up so in addition to our poor Rachel in the hospital on many many different uh, medications to knock back a, an infection that she uh, had in her lower intestines so she was on IV antibiotics at the hospital her poor baby Ruby we started giving oral antibiotics and steroids to for her Lyme disease so I thought it was imperative that we brought the two together so that they could see each other and spend some time together and it worked uh, Ruby started to improve the very next day uh, Rachel got her uh, a little bit of her sass back and her spark and started really she was afraid that she was going to have to stay at the hospital forever that's just how her mind work works and she was afraid that she would never get to go home again you know, even though we reassured her and the nurses reassured her and the doctors reassured her she was still afraid that that's what was going to happen um, we are going into Serengeti it is a beautiful greenish gold color I'm just gonna take that on my finger I think and apply that to the lid yes yes that is gorgeous if you don't like using your finger of course use a brush I would recommend maybe a flat brush to pick it up with I'm kind of patting and dragging that kind of emotion and my fingers are too big to get into that inner corner after seeing Ruby and we spent a lot of time there the hospital was very gracious she had Rachel had her own room so we weren't bothering anyone and they both started started to improve Rachel finally believed me that she would get better and she was going home and from then on everything just got a little easier I think for everybody all around was a little overwhelmed actually um, 
right from the get-go when her first day in the hospital before they even had any of the test results back they had told us that they thought that she had Crohn's disease and um, first order of business do not Google these things I should have known better obviously but I didn't and I started googling some things and I started getting really really scared of this disease because it's not you know it can it has no cure and it can be very very serious and I worried of course I'm her mother I will take whatever the good Lord and this life has to throw at me I will take it all day long but when it happens to one of your children it's an, uh, it's an overwhelming and and horribly scary feeling so we started seeing improvement in Rachel and that was great for all of our morale I have to tell you that her older sister lived there um, so that I could continue to go to work because I had to continue to go to work and get a paycheck. Um, it wasn't a choice I made. It was, I, I didn't have a choice. It, it was something that had to be done. Um, so her sister lived at the hospital. She had me bringing clothes and taking clothes home. She ate there, she slept there, she never left. My daughter, I love both of my daughters. They're both amazing, beautiful women are growing up into these fantastic caring beautiful ladies and it was just so remarkable to watch them together the way that their bond is and I know now and I I've always known really that if anything should ever happen to me or their dad that Rachel will be very very well taken care of and so will her sister Mina and that it was really it was a remarkable thing to watch. Anyway, I don't want to get all teary-eyed on my video. I'm going to use this beautiful kind of terracotta color right here. It is a matte formula. It is called Grand Canyon. I'm going to take that on a very flat detail brush, an M410. I'm going to take that right on the edge and I'm going to use it as kind of like an eyeliner for the bottom lashes. I know you're not supposed to pull on your face. Don't yell at me. I know this. It's my eyeball. I'm going to run that right on the lower lashes. And a little bit up. Connect it to the green that we have on the top. If you got this palette in your BoxyCharm and you don't know what to do with it, I think this is a very, very wearable look for such a deep, beautiful palette and maybe when you got it you were like what am I supposed to do with this well you can make it very wearable you can go in very light-handed um, it can also amp up to something absolutely beautiful to wear out so in that manner it's it's versatile you could also use it as maybe that palette that you go to when you want a bit of a pop of color. And that wouldn't hurt. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of that cactus green, tap it off and connect that to the color in the V, just so we're all cohesive. And use that to kind of blend in that orange on the bottom lash line. I'm not one that's afraid of my eyeshadows. I have lots of really, really pretty colors. I have lots of really, really pretty uh, neutrals. But I will wear them to work. I'll wear them to Walmart. I am not afraid to do what I want where my makeup is concerned. Um, again, nothing added to the brush. Just kind of making sure we don't have any harsh lines blended well. I cannot get over that lid color though. It's beautiful. Uh, we also have another really pretty gold color in the palette that is called Sun and I'm going to use that as my inner corner color. 
We are almost finished, folks. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that sun. Let's try it dry, see how it goes. Eh, not that bright. Let's try it wet and see how that goes. A little bit of setting spray. You can use any setting spray. You can even use water. Let's wet it. See how, see how it picks up when I wet it. If not, we may go into our highlight. I did not apply a highlight. I'm gonna have to go back and highlight. Yeah, it's better wet. It's a little punchier if you if you're into that kind of thing. I'll add that to my inner corners, possibly a bit into onto my brow bone. I do like a well lit inner corner. If you don't like that, obviously, just don't do that part. And then I will take that same color, just a little tiny bit on the brow bone. And this is dry. I didn't wet it for the brow bone area. I like it for the light to hit it there. I think it looks pretty, but I don't necessarily want it to be metallic or super, super blinding. Like I, I like my inner corners to be pretty blinding. So uh, at this point, I'm going to grab a lower waterline color. And today it is... This is pretty. This goes with the green that is in the crease. Um, it is an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil. This and the Melt, where are my Melt Pencils? That's one of my Melt Pencils. The Melt All, all Day Every Day Pencils are the favorite right now for the waterline. They stay the longest. They give the best color payoff. I just really like them. They are expensive not cheap. Uh, you can find them on sale sometimes though. And that is how I grabbed mine up. They were on sale. Sometimes they'll even be discontinuing shades and you can grab those ones at a discount. I have never found either one of these at a Marshalls or um, TJ Maxx which is someplace that I find bargains all the time but I've never found any of those there and I do look normally I would line the upper waterline so depending on what I'm wearing I would use a brown or a black um, today with this look I would probably go brown and I am out of my very 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 favorite waterline um, colors. They are by Maybelline and they are their super skinny. They're in a really bright pink packaging and they have it in brown and black and that's the one that I usually use. I am out of both brown and black. It has been a month. I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> I haven't been shopping in over a month and we have just been, you know, spending Having someone in the hospital like that all of the time uh, is emotionally and financially draining. If it's never happened to you, I pray that it never does because it can be um, a very hard experience. Luckily, my family... Why am I not finding a single brown... There we go. I can't find a single brown eyeliner. There's a giant thing of eyeliners. Um, we are a very supportive family, my little tight-knit family right here. We are very, very close to each other and we rely and lean on each other quite a bit. Um, my, my parents are in Florida, which is di makes it difficult because again, they wanted to be here desperately to help and they couldn't, uh, but I'm also very close to my parents. My husband's mother passed away uh, last year, and she lives in Puerto Rico. She, I'm sorry, she lived in Puerto Rico, and you know, my kids miss miss her desperately. And this was a time when I I know she was there. I know she was there with us, but I also know that she would have wanted to to be there and 
to be talking to Rachel all the time and so it was difficult in that respect having both of our um, parents not be around but we made it through it we are a stronger family because of it and hey we're gonna we're gonna just learn everything we can about this and do everything we can to make Rachel have the best life possible that's we just move on that's that's what our attitude has always been we, we work hard and we overcome the obstacles and we move on and we keep going just there's no other choice so I am going to next um, go ahead and curl my lashes I use a lash primer this one happens to be from Tarte it's called opening act I really like this eye primer or eyelash primer but I also have gotten wonderful ones from the drugstore from L'Oreal so uh, I think it's the L'Oreal one it's the L'Oreal voluminous lash base I would say is practically a dupe for this one and much cheaper so um, I always curl my lashes before I put on my primer and normally they stay curled pretty well I don't really have a problem with that and uh, if you've never used a lash primer just try it. it goes on white it does look crazy it's okay it doesn't stay white and you're covering it with your mascara anyway so no big deal and uh oh what was i saying i do have one other product then oh no two other products to talk about from my boxycharm box one of them is a mascara about 10 seconds also don't worry if you get this on your face you can wipe it right off it comes right off I'm not gonna line my eyes today or do any kind of a wing I've actually been kind of getting away from that I mean you go through seasons it's not my wing season I'm over it so I usually let that dry for just a few seconds you don't have to wait a long time and then I am going to go in with this mascara. It is from Grande Cosmetics. It is their Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara that has castor oil. So, our handy dandy card says, it's designed by the maker of cult favorite Grande Lash MD. Lash Enhancing Serum, Grande Cosmetics introduces the hottest secret weapon for lashes that command attention. Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. It's supposed to be no flaking. It's an intense black formula. It also helps to, um, what do I want to say? Not moisturize, but uh, it helps with the health of your lashes as well as you know thickening and lengthening your lashes. Um, so that castor oil is supposed to help thicken your lashes and make them healthier. So it has a fluffy, brush wand it comes in this really pretty kind of brushed gold packaging it's very light I thought it would be heavier when I saw it because it is metal I think it's metal they made it look metal um, but it's very light it's not and it's kind of got a it's not as big as the L'Oreal Lash Paradise wand but this one kind of reminds me of that so I will show you I will do one eye just so you can kind of see the difference with and without. I absolutely agree with the thickening claims. That is not mascara. I don't know what that was. It doesn't do very much for my length, though. But you can, and so I should have done it without. I'm so sorry. I will try doing it without and maybe do a small, um, without the primer, and maybe do a small, uh, so bright, maybe do a small Insta story or something to show you the difference with and without the primer. But you can see, obviously, it makes my lashes a little bit longer and definitely makes them look much thicker. I've been wearing this for a while, about a week not every day but I haven't noticed any flaking um, it doesn't seem to smudge or come off on my face at all so that uh, 
that's what we want, right? No smudgies, no raccoon eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the other eye. And the thought that it has ingredients in it that work as kind of a lash serum type product while I'm wearing it, obviously, I like that idea. I like the idea that it's working to make healthier lashes because um, I've been on quite the lash journey. I had no, I'm so sorry. My phone is vibrating, stop that. Um, I've been on quite the lash journey. Uh, my lashes were super, super short and sparse and I've been using serums for almost a year now and it really has been helping. I've used several different kinds, but my favorite one, and I do, I'm very consistent with this. Again, I'm a very consistent person. Uh, and this is a fairly inexpensive product. This is by Rimmel, it's called their Lash Accelerator. And it is their uh, lash serum and it's supposed to lengthen and thicken your lashes. It works. I'm extremely consistent with it though. I put it on every night before I go to bed. You can also use it on your eyebrows. I haven't seen that much of a difference in my eyebrows, but I also have I also trim my eyebrows. So I think this has helped a lot more with the lengthening of my lashes than it has the actual like fuller, thicker idea. So maybe that's why I haven't noticed it on my eyebrows as much because my eyebrows, if they get too long, I obviously you know, snip them in trim them up so maybe it is helping my eyebrows grow longer which is not exactly something that I want I wanted my eyebrows to actually grow in here and they have it that's okay they're my eyebrows they're on my face and I love them just the way they are they're fine okay so the uh, final product in my boxy charm box I was very excited about because everybody everybody talks about this um, sleeping mask and I've been wanting to try it. I did open it to smell it but I have closed it nice and tight because I'm using something else right now and I, I want to get through that. I don't want to open a new jar of something before I finish the last. So I cannot tell you much about this sleeping mask. Um, it is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask and it is in a gorgeous very heavy jar. So pretty and it smells like fresh cut watermelon, like real, not watermelon scented, it smells like real watermelons. Uh, the card says, uh, the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask is a bouncy, breathable sleeping mask that smooths and perfects your skin overnight. This pill-proof formula acts as a radiance-boosting face mask formulated with soothing amino acid-rich watermelon extract which is why it smells like actual watermelons. It has the hyaluronic acid in it as well, which we all love, and pore refining AHAs, which are um, chemical exfoliants for, for your skin. And uh, they work while you sleep, gently exfoliating and clarifying. So, I can't tell you if it does all of that because I haven't opened it and I haven't used it yet. Um, all I can tell you so far is that the jar is lovely and it smells delightful, like you could eat it practically. Watermelon is my favorite thing to snack on. And I love the ingredients that are in it. Uh, the retail price on that is $22. So I am using right now an overnight mask. It's a teeny tiny, it's not a sample, but it came in a set of a whole bunch of these. It is by Earth to Skin, which you can find at Walmart. And it's called their Super Fruits line, and this is an avocado overnight mask. It's a little teeny tiny thing. This is 0.5 ounces, but again, you can buy it in a much larger. And this is, I believe it's one fluid ounce. Does it say it on the card? It does not. But I think that's what it says, but it's in the tiniest writing of life, so I can't really read it, but I think it's a fluid ounce. Um, so is it a tiny bit pricey? Yes. It's a tiny bit pricey. Uh, I've seen a lot worse, okay? But I will get back to you on that. If it works better than say something like this, which I don't know, I'm loving this right now. It smells like avocados. It has good ingredients. Um, it has not irritated my skin whatsoever. And I like the uh, act of putting it on because it smells a little bit like avocado. It smells really clean. 
and it has made my skin feel really smooth and nice. Um, so we'll see. I will let you know how that one goes. That is all of my products. <clears throat> my voice is going again. <clears throat> Sorry. That is all of my products from my BoxyCharm box. I'm going to go back in to my Focalore uh, Sculpting Glow because I would like to get a little bit of this beautiful highlighter. It is called, is, does it have a name? Yes. It's called Champagne Pop. All right, Focalore. And the um, contour color is called Ipanema Sun. So we're gonna take a little bit of that beautiful Champagne Pop. Tap off the brush a bit. It's a little powdery, not gonna lie. I don't see any glitter. And I have been using it, and I'm a sucker for highlight though. And I love a beanie highlight. I also wanted to mention today that um, someone I highly recommend that you watch on YouTube if you love beauty and just really genuine, beautiful spirited people. Uh, give Nikki Tutorials a try. It's N-I-K-K-I-E Tutorials. She is, well, she's downright gorgeous, first of all, and her makeup skills are so way out of my league, that is for sure. Um, she, But she's such, she seems like such a, I don't know her. She doesn't know me. She wouldn't know me at all. Um, I'm just a tiny little teeny weeny YouTuber, but she is such a wonderful human being and she just uh, did a video telling us all that she is transgender and I'm so I don't know how you be I don't know how I'm proud of a person that I don't even know but I was literally I was beaming and proud when I when I watched her video of course I cried um, she she's been through a lot and her story is something to behold so she was on Ellen today Congratulations to Nikki Tutorials. That is the the biggest of big time. I mean, you're on The Ellen Show. I love, love, love The Ellen Show. And she did such a wonderful interview and, and of course, was poised and beautiful and professional. So go give her channel a watch. She's awesome. And uh, that's, all, that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, that is the last product that we're gonna work with today. I know I didn't do my lips. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on that a little bit. And uh, you know, you've seen me do my lips a million times. I don't have any new products for it um, from BoxyCharm. So we're just gonna end the video here. I hope you like <clears throat> the look that I came up with because I'm losing my voice and I won't be able to talk. I hope you like the, the look that I came up with <clears throat> with my BoxyCharm uh, products. And, you know, all in all, I was impressed with all of the products, just not quite impressed with how BoxyCharm is handling their error that they made with the Wander Beauty palette. I'm going to use it. I love Wander Beauty. I will just be very light-handed with it and enjoy it because it's a beautiful product. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope maybe I gave you some ideas, some different ideas of how to use your Ace Beauté um, Vintage Dawn palette. And hey, have a wonderful day. Um, keep smiling. I hope you're all happy and healthy wherever you are today uh, because I love you all. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.